Have you ever bought cardstock paper for a project only to find out your printer just won't print on it? If you've been frustrated by this predicament, you're not alone. A lot of people, including me, have struggled to understand why the paper just isn't feeding through the printer, especially when it comes to thicker paper like cardstock. In today's video, I'll show you exactly how to understand why your printer might not be feeding through your paper and how to find a printer that will actually work for your cardstock paper. The very first step is finding finding out what kind of paper you'd like to print with. Check out the paper that you purchased at the store or online and you'll find the paper weight on the very front. For example, you might find something like 300, 100, or 65 pounds. And you might think, this doesn't seem right because my paper doesn't weigh that much. But it might be good for you to know that in the United States, they determine a paper's total weight by weighing 500 uncut sheets of paper that is 17 by 22 inches. It makes literally no sense at all, but that's not really the point. The point is you just need to know what the paper weight is and then we can move on to the next step. The next step is finding out the capacity of the paper that your printer or the printer that you're thinking of buying will print on. So most printers have a paper weight limit that determines the thickness of paper it can handle. If your printer isn't built to handle high paper weight, you'll be swearing profusely because your printer might jam the paper or it might not feed it through at all. So it's critical to know what your printer can handle before buying that cardstock. Now, how do you actually find this information? Well, let me tell you that printer manufacturers don't always make this very easy, but there are a few ways to track down your printer's paper spec. So first, you're gonna check your printer's specifications or the printer that you're thinking about buying. If you have the manual at home, which let's face it, you probably don't, well, you can just open that up and it will be listed under the specifications or the paper handling section. But if not, no worries, go online. I recommend going to Amazon because they tend to make it easier to find all this stuff in one place. Look for the printer that you have or that you're thinking about buying. Once you click into that printer on Amazon, I want you to select Control Find on your keyboard, Control F. This is gonna bring up a search box so you can do a quick search on the page. And do a search for the term specification sheet or if that doesn't work, you can also look up the word product documentation. If you still can't find it, I recommend going to the manufacturer's website where you can do more digging or even reach out to the manufacturer. If it does come up for you, you'll see that typically this will come up as a PDF. So go ahead and open the PDF and then scan the document for the term media weight supported or something similar to that term. As you can see, this printer is showing up that it will print up to 70 two pounds of paperweight. Now, if you're thinking that your printer specifies that it can only go up to 72 pounds, but you have paper that's heavier than that and you wanna just give it a try, I'm telling you right now, it's not going to work. And to avoid a lot of frustration and curse words, either get the right printer for the paper you're wanting to print on or just get a new printer that is able to handle the paperweight that you'd like. It's good to note here that there are pretty much three types of printers for this. Most printers are gonna be made for regular printer paper and are going to print on paper that weighs anywhere from 70 to 100 GSM. Next is the light cardstock printers that can take up to 150 to 220 and lastly is the heaviest cardstock printers that can take the weight of the heaviest cardstock paper up to sometimes over 250 GSM. Now, if you're wondering what the best printers are for heavy cardstock paper right now, I do have another video right here that you can check out. If this video helped you at all, be sure to like and subscribe and let me know in the comments what type of cardstock projects you're working on. I'll see you soon.